Arden Key, Charles Aminihu, Samson Ebicom, Cleveland Farrell. It seems like every season there's a reclamation project that Chris Kosarek takes on. They found one, I think, this year. The first couple of games he saw a snap count slowly rise, but this past game against the Patriots, the player that we're going to talk about came out in a big way. So let's get right to it. We're going to watch the defensive end to the bottom of the screen. Sam Okuwanu. We should get to know this name because on the very first play of the game, he forces a fumble. So the San Francisco 49ers defense, they've struggled to get off the field this season. Like their numbers on early downs are actually very good. They're second in the league in EPA per play allowed on first and second downs. But for whatever reason, these bunch routes give them issues on third downs. But timely turnovers like this are going to go a long way for the season. So if, I mean, obviously forcing fumbles isn't sustainable, but you can kind of see the athleticism right away. So I want to talk about that right here. So uh, let's let's get right to what he brings to the table. Sam O, as Kyle Shanahan calls him. All right, so he's a defensive end to our left side here. Sam O, we don't need to say Okuwanu 37 times here. So watch his first three steps. One, two, three. Like he's already coming flat down the line of scrimmage. A lot of defensive ends, you'll see on his third step, on their third step, one, two, three, they're still going upfield. They're still trying to chase the running back. And what that does is it creates a running lane right here. And that's exactly what the Patriots are hoping. But because he's well coached, because he has a very, very good defensive line coach, Chris Kosarek, he understands I need to go one, two and come flat directly down the line. He's going to take on the outside shoulder of the puller, as you can see. He's athletic enough to avoid him, which is impressive in itself, and then has the awareness to go after the ball, right? He's thinking turnovers, and this is where all those ball meetings come into play, not just for the DBs, but for the D-line as well. Look at his right arm right here. He's thinking ball. Gets his hand in there, and then I love the celebration at the end. Like, he's so jacked. He's so pumped that he made a play. Think about it. The very first play of the game, he generates a turnover. Like, that is huge. And then... Uh, we'll get a chance to see it from this other angle here. Man. And we're going to show it on a couple other run clips, but watch his back, right? Like, watch. Like, <laughs> it's it's funny to say that, but flat back. It, like, that's what you need as a defensive lineman to be able to anchor, to be able to take on blocks. And even though he doesn't actually take on the tight end or the puller here, like he's in a position to look that flat back is exactly what you want. So that's that tells me like he's a stud athlete, but he's also well coached. He has good technique and that kind of showed itself um, throughout the course of the game. So forced fumble to start is tough to tough to get out of the gates better than that. And over the course of the game, like you're seeing Sam O play very good run defense, which is how you're going to get more snaps, right? Like all these guys can rush a passer. All the, the guys that I mentioned, um, Omenihu, Key, like their calling card was rushing the passer. But on this play, it's almost like Samo's strength costs him. So he's the force player. He's supposed to be outside contained. You can tell just by alignment. So he's taking on, by the way, here he is. He's taking on the outside half of the tight end. And you'll hear Chris Kosarek, any practice you ever go to, you'll hear the defensive line coach say, pick a half, right? So here's the half of the lineman. He's going to work on this half. That way he's free, right? So his outside shoulder is free. That is about as good as you can ask for right there. That way he can make the play. But he actually resets the line of scrimmage. So pushes the tight end back and almost goes too much, too far inside, but maybe like a half step or so. And that's how the running back's able to bounce it outside. So like in a dream world, he makes contact. First contact has good position, like we said, right? Flat back and everything. But he drives him, <laughs> he drives him too far upfield. Jair, Tig, has nowhere to go. Like obviously you, in a, Again, like we're being picky here because I can press pause and slow it down. He kind of waits at the line of scrimmage and doesn't run upfield, lets the running back declare first, and then is able to chase him down. That does not happen. Um, as I said, Sam O gets a little too far upfield, and that's how the running back's able to bounce. But it's not an explosive play because look at <laughs> this guy right here who, in my mind, defensive player of the year through the first month of the season, he has just been unbelievable. So. Like no harm, no foul in a sense, but you can see the traits, right? You can see Sam O and what he brings to the table, not just as a pass rusher, as a run defender. Because if you want to rush a passer with how many pass rushers they have, 
you better stop these teams on first down, which they are doing. And it was good to see um, Sam Moe do that here. Here we go. Next snap for Sam Moe. He is, again, the defensive end to our left. He is going to take on a double team. Again, this, these are run clips. These matter. So right away, good pad level. He's not playing high. Helmets right around the same as both blockers. Holds his ground, most importantly, right? He's not getting moved back. He's not getting moved off his spot. Even more importantly, he's fighting through the blocks, right? He's fighting over top. Like he has leverage right here and he's basically steering the tight end. And what does that do? Creates a wide open lane for the, the linebacker. If this was Dre Greenlaw, here's what Dre Greenlaw would do. He would trigger right away. He's not stopping. He's not worried about this person because he knows I'm faster than that person. So instead, Campbell is concerned about the tackle and now he misses his angle to run right through him. And instead of a tackle for loss or a tackle of line of scrimmage, it's a gain of five. But if we're talking about, you know, setting the edge, taking on the block, doing what you're supposed to do as the edge rusher, as the force contained player on this side of the ball, could not ask for a better rep from 91 here. Watch what he like. He's con in complete control of the block of the tight end. So again, does it get moved? That is some serious strength. Talk about the athlete. So athleticism matters in athletics. He, we're talking about a undrafted free agent in 2022. And the reason for that was because, so Samo was in the 10th percentile in height. Um, he was undersized. He was small weight wise as well. He was in the 11th percentile for his wingspan, but he, had, he was like average arm length, right? So super long arms for a person his size, which comes out to, which averages to the median, but because of his height, because of his weight, it checked out as he was quote unquote undersized. But for a player who was in the 81st percentile in 40, for the 87th percentile in vertical jump, 94th percentile in broad jump, 85th percentile in bench press. That makes sense why he's benching the tight end, right? That makes sense why he's able to have these explosive type of moves. So let's talk about um, some of the pass rushes because he had plenty of counters in this one too. So the cliche saying in sports for defensive linemen is, if you stop the run, that's how you earn the right to rush the passer. Watch the edge rusher to the top of the screen here. In a heartbeat, he takes out Jacoby Brissett right there. Yes, there's a back shoulder fade on the back end, but we are talking about the athleticism I just mentioned, right? You see the burst. You see the those percentiles. Like that is a great move. So in a matter of steps, so one, two, three, he has already cleared the hips by his fourth and fifth step of the lineman. That is, by definition, a win. So Samo played six snaps in week three. He That number tripled to 18. Because you can stop the run. And when you stop the run, you get a rush a passer. And when you get a rush a passer, you get to show off those athletic traits right there. But that is about as good of a move as you can ask, right? Like that just, it's him being an athlete. A little Euro step shimmy. And then, oh man, if if you watch this game, I feel like you'd have a lot of respect for Jacoby Brissett because he took some licks in this one. 49ers were living in the backfield and he was taking hits like this all game. But what I like... I'm not just winning with athleticism at the very end there. Watch his right arm. He's going to make sure he rips through and clears himself of the lineman right there. He is far more advanced than you would expect. But I think that goes back to coaching. All right. So watching these run plays might be boring to you. But to me, this is what matters, right? This is how the defenses in January get off the field. So here he is on the right side taking on. One block, two block, occupying blockers for D-winners, right? And D-winners, we can do a whole pod on why this guy's not playing. But we're focusing on Sam O. And again, just hold your ground. He's strong enough to do that. I think his leverage is unreal. I think you can kind of see those long arms that we're talking about. Again, long arms in context for his height and his weight. Great leverage right there. Just sit down. I don't, I don't think a lot of linemen understand that. If you just sit down, you will anchor and you won't go anywhere now. The guy behind you gets to make a play. That's not being selfish because he could easily run up field, run around a block. Maybe he does something that he's not supposed to, but instead does his job, uses his hands, locks out, sits down, and now 49ers get a stop at the line of scrimmage. Okay, so we've consistently seen Okuanu use his traits, right? So he's sat down, he's anchored, he's used his arm length, and here we get a chance to see him put all those together 
and he's able to squeeze, right? So here he is, edge rusher to the right. Watch him squeeze. So what he's going to do is he's going to get hands on first, which is huge for defensive line play. Hands on first and then lock out and then just take him for a ride and squeeze. Again, ideally, when you see, well, I mean, we can talk about linebacker play right here. When you see clear or cloudy, you go. If it's cloudy, you stay. If it's clear, which, come on, man, go, go, go. He does his job. So in ideal world, there's not a running lane for him to come through. I, uh, oh man, this, this is the part of the game where Fred Warner had left. So Fred Warner did not come back in the second half. And we are seeing, we saw actually some porous linebacker play, which is to be expected, right? Nobody's going to be as good as Fred Warner, but right away you should trigger, right? You see clear trigger, 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 trigger. So it, it ends up only being a four yard gain. It probably should be again, a gain of one, to max but Samo again does his job right where he needs to be just didn't get the help from the guys behind him so on Sunday here he is right here by the way Kyle Shanahan said or sorry on Monday Shanahan said that Samo has been a beast in practice and it was finally nice to see him do this against somebody else on Sunday Bosa Nick Bosa said that he always knew that Samo had it in him but he had an injury in training camp that set him back but this type of athleticism, like that's that high percentile 40 yard dash that we're talking about, right? That's the burst when he probably doesn't think he's going to fire off the ball like this. Sure enough, he's able to beat the block, beats the, <laughs> beats the tackle before how it seems like he beats the tackle before he can get a second step down. One, two, too late. And then plays just left for dead. Like you can't teach that type of athleticism. And that's why you're going to earn more than 16 snaps this last game because these type of splash plays, like you have no choice to put him on the field when he's doing things like this. So you had a forced fumble. Um, you're seeing consistent run play against the run and then splash plays like this, which force punts, and that's how you get off the field. All right, here we go. Sam O to the top of the screen. So we've seen counters, right? We've seen the little Euro step. Now let's take a look at what power looks like, what a bull rush looks like, because if you can win – in more ways than one, and Aaron Donald's talked about this, if you just have a go-to move and a counter, you're going to be very successful. So here he is right here. If he can show off this kind of power, it might not be long before, oh, man, he's playing like the third DN behind Floyd and Bosa. So I don't know if you count this as a pressure or not or what, what who knows, who cares. What we're seeing is production, right? We're seeing a player who has – a full bag, a full arsenal. And if he can get his hands on first, which he is right here, right? That is key. So he's worried about speed because he set him up all day with the counter. And now hands on first. And then he's able to steer him and drive him back. And yeah, they, they get a completion out of it, but there's nowhere for the quarterback to go. And that's a big deal. Unfortunately for Okawano in this game, he was not the only person to win. And on this play, this would have been a clear quarterback hit or sack or whoever whatever you may be but because Kevin Givens wins so soon uh, he does, he's not able to get there so we'll, we'll be able to watch it from the end zone angle here off to our right uh, Kevin Givens has a nice move maybe they should have talked before the snap say hey I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try this but they both end up in the same gap which is not what you want but if you're just watching 91 like that's a win he beats his man but so does Givens so that's Samo, and here he is once more to the top of the screen. This is the fourth quarter. 49ers have all their, literally all of their starters on the field, save Fred Warner, of course, because of the injury, and Samo. Like, he has already gained the confidence of Nick Sorensen. And if Nick Sorensen keeps blitzing the way he did last game, it's only going to create more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. This is as close to a win as it gets in my mind. So, again, like, he is rushing – with the quote unquote starters, with the quote unquote pass rushers opposite of 97. So here is Okawana right here. You see the burst, the one, two, three. He's already close to turning the, the corner. He's already close to clearing the hips. Look at his, his path is so good. It'll probably get a better, um, a better angle on the next one. But I mean, if he played 16 game or 16 snaps in this game, what is it going to be next game? 25 two more series worth um it 
he was very good in this game. I would imagine he was one of the highest graded defensive linemen in this game. Let's watch his path right here. So let's talk about the quarterback's drop. Let's see what his steps are. One, two, three, four, five. So you know that he's taking a five-step drop, drop back passing game. Your path needs to be direct, right? You are going to go direct. That's exactly what he does. Oh, that's really good, man. And the goal is to move him off his spot, which is exactly what happens. Because of the linebacker play, they're playing man coverage. Uh, Flanagan fouls, gets caught up with the guy underneath. Nope, you have this guy. Just do your job, nobody else's job. And it's an easy tackle to get off the field instead. Doesn't happen, but again, we are talking about Sam O, who was fantastic. Hopefully you get a chance to talk about him as the season goes along. It seems like the 49ers found another diamond in the rough, and I think he's going to be this year's Charles and Minhew slash Arden Key. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will be back. I think I'm going to talk about uh, Malik Mustafa.